What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here playing some Borderlands the pre-sequel and in this video we're going to be doing a weapon showcase and the weapon we're going to be showcasing today is Excalibastard. Now if you don't know how to get this weapon it's located in Staten's liver and since it doesn't have a fast travel station you're going to need to fast travel to Triton Flats in order to get there. From there all you need to do is go to the exact spot that I'm at right now on the mini map when you're in Staten's liver and uh, you're going to see Excalibastard floating above a rock and that's pretty much all you need to do or all you need to know as far as the location goes one thing that you need to do though is you need to make sure that you have at least 2500 badass rank or higher in order to get it um, that's kind of the one thing that you need to make sure you have in order to pick this up but that's pretty much how you get this weapon now we're gonna go into the pros and the cons of it for the most part this weapon has some uh, pretty in-your-face cons um, one of the cons is that you can only get this weapon once per character now I made a mistake and I picked it up at around level 42 or so and the thing with that is I thought it spawned once per playthrough that's kind of my initial thought before I did any research I just kind of thought that that's how it went uh, no it actually spawns once per character so to be honest it's kind of an iffy situation on exactly when you should pick this weapon up uh, for the most part these guys love to increase the level caps uh, throughout the months of Borderlands' lifetime so it's gonna have to be sort of a conscious decision on your end uh, for the most part I would recommend picking it up at level 50 but for the most part if they increase it all the way up to level 72 like they have before and you're not really trying to make another character it might be wise to wait that long but uh, for the most part that's gonna be completely up to you uh, I know me personally I'm gonna make more than one character so picking it up at level 42 really isn't a big deal but uh, for the most part if you guys are only focused on just one character then you need to factor that in another con to this weapon is that it has fixed parts now that's a con because usually with how the old borderlands went is uh, every weapon including legendaries had multiple parts that uh, gave it either increased fire rate increased damage uh, just a little attribute that um, can provide it some sort of bonus with this weapon it is how it is everybody's Excalibaster is going to be exactly the same um, I imagine two at level 50 from different playthroughs no matter what are going to have the same stats all around uh, that's kind of a con because basically what you see is what you get and there's really no hope in getting any sort of variation of it you're going to get the flat out what you see right here just with the appropriate scaling depending on the level that you actually get it at with that being said, it actually has a couple of pros going for it. Uh, the three major pros that actually work really well with this weapon is that it has cryo damage, it has 100% accuracy, and it does some pretty decent damage. Now, the way that those three all work together is that cryo damage doesn't take effect un until you do a certain amount of damage to an opponent, and the fact that it has 100% accuracy means that if you're going for crits, it's pretty much going to do some pretty good damage and it's going to freeze them pretty fast. Another thing that I kind of forgot saying until just right now is that it also has improved um, crit damage. So for the most part, if you like playing the marksman role and just kind of sitting back and doing some crits, this is actually a pretty decent weapon to provide a lot of support. And if you get the freeze bonus off of them, uh, you're pretty much going to be shooting a still target. So that's kind of something that kind of works really well with the weapon. Um, a lot of people when they review this weapon they kind of give it a negative review but uh, for the most part if you use this weapon as a support and sort of as a marksman then uh, for the most part the weapon is actually not that bad all in all if you're looking to rush with this weapon or if you're looking to pretty much just get a whole bunch of kills with this weapon it's really not gonna work um, one tactic that I was using that was actually pretty good and I kinda liked it um, was to go up get the crit freeze them switch to a weapon that actually can do some damage and then pretty much kill them that way now that's good for going up against stronger opponents uh, some super badass people or anything like that where freezing them and getting them basically to do nothing is uh, a viable strategy that you can do and then getting some real good damage in while they're actually frozen is um, something that you would want to do but for the most part I wouldn't take this out on a raid boss I wouldn't take it out on any kind of boss to be honest because you can't really freeze them or at least not that I know of and pretty much unless you're playing with people I don't see this weapon being useful other than fighting stronger enemies and once you get to the level cap that's not really a problem neither but for the most part that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video this weapon is kind of um, 
a decent one for a legendary to be honest there are a couple things where i can understand people might have some problems with it but for the most part if you use it the way that it's supposed to be used it's actually not that bad and that's pretty much going to wrap up this video so leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already if you guys are playing this game and you know of a legendary or you picked up a legendary that you might want me to review uh, just let me know leave them in the comments and let me know how you get it um, and then I'll go ahead and see if I can grind out for it and see if I can go ahead and do the weapon showcase for you. But for the most part, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, take care.